and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to what you guys should be doing in Madden 20 right now. Now, you guys have been a really big fan of this so far this year when I've been doing videos just like this. I think these really help. You know, I think this is it's a fun video for me to actually make because I'm able to just kind of like sit here and go over a checklist of what you should be doing, which is good for me, actually, because when I go over everything, sometimes I remember some things that I even wasn't doing. And it just kind of keeps everyone up to date on what to be doing. Nothing specific. This isn't so much about coins, but it includes coins, but it's not restricted to just coins. It's about it's about everything, kind of where we're at. And where we currently stand is we're in like we're in the final stretch of the most feared promo, which it, went, it feels like it went quick, right? Is it just me? I feel like it just started and it's over already. It was just, just gone. I don't know. But for the most part, it is the 28th of October, which means that November 1st is when the Series 3 comes, which also in turn means that that's probably when most fears going to end. When the enraged cards are over so pretty much we can say goodbye to most already it's pretty much over but we did not get a scary fast set which is what i'm, what I'm kind of waiting for because we got the peyton right we got the ray lewis we didn't get the fast so i'm hoping that comes in the near future before this ends but we don't really know now guys before we get into this video and go over everything make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell boys come join the family we are i believe 50 to 60 subs away from 11,000 subscribers you guys have been going crazy this year. Thank you guys so much Keep hitting the subscribe button come join the family. You won't regret it for all your Madden needs You know where to come Comment down below what you guys think you should be doing in Madden right now Help out the community down below and if you haven't already make sure to smash that like button You guys have been killing it Thank you guys for all the OGs all the supporters that come on every day and like the video and help out the channel grow guys It's all because of you. So thank you so much now. Let's get into this video. So first things first Let's look at the bats right with the promo coming to an end within about six days approximately Bats are going to be split. Those bats you have will not continue to count as that amount of bats. So 10,000 bats will not be 10,000 bats when the promo ends. We don't know the conversion rate yet. The conversion rate could be half. It could be a third. So pretty much at the end of each promo, they, so they split the currency based on what they deem as fair training value because that will convert to training. So at the end of this, I could either have 5,000 training from those bats, which I don't think so. I think 5,000 training is way too much for 10,000 bats. I think it'll be like a third. I'm thinking a third. So it'll be about 3,300 bats-ish in that area, 3,400 bats. So if it is a third, pretty much divide any amount of bats you have by three, and that should be what you get, or divide it by 1.33, uh, whatever you want to do. But that's pretty much what we're going to come down to. So if it was up to you guys, if I mean, if it's up to me, if you have a lot amount of, of a lot of bats, you might, it might be in your best interest to spend it, or do the math, right? What's more worth it? Getting the bat return or waiting for the training. That's up to you guys. I don't know what you guys prefer. If you guys prefer bats training, but don't hold it because you will lose half of it. Well, a third of it. So you will lose quite a bit. If you have like 100,000 bats, you're going to lose 77,000 bats just about. So I'd recommend you guys stay on top of your bat count and what you're going to be doing with that. Next is the Series 2 trophies, guys, real quick. Series 3 is coming to an end November 1st. Uh, I believe this Friday. So I, I recommend you guys start getting, using your trophies. You guys want a Melvin Gordon or any players, like go over to the store real quick, show you guys you can use it on. Again, you will get half back, so you don't have to spam the trophies and get rid of them all. But if you have like 2,000, if you have, let's say you have like 2,000 trophies, right? You could get Melvin Gordon right now for 2,000, or you can get the John Madden trophies, or you can just hold them and then we'll get half back, get 1,000 back, and get the master right off the bat. So if you'd rather have the Nat Master right away, maybe you save those, you take the half reduction and you just go all in next series and get the master right away. Or you spend it now because you don't want to lose half of them. It's all up to you. Those are hard earned. Every thousand means a lot. Now, me personally, I would always just buy the John Madden one, right? Because this changes every series, right? John Madden doesn't. He's always there. So I'd recommend you're going to want it anyway. So might as well just use the trophies while you have them. Because think about it. If you have 2,000 and you lose half and you end up with 1,000, you could have just bought John Madden and then had 500 left. That, I think that's the more worthwhile thing for me to do. But I'm going to lose some trophies. Just buy the John Madden stuff while you can. I only got one collectible left to get, but I believe it keeps going up every series, so we should get another one added to the store soon. That's my, that's the best bet. You could also go all in with Wheel of Coins, but a little risky, a little risky for my blood personally. I mean, let's see, it's minimum 1k per, so I mean, if I opened up 15 of these, I can get up to 15k minimum, or I can get, I mean, yeah, I mean, you could get up to a million coins, but the odds of that are very, very low that you pull multiple 50ks, so probably not in my, in my best interest to go that route. Now, next. Make sure you're getting your house rules done. House rules is ending, I believe. I want to say Friday at 10:30. I believe it's Friday at 10:30 will be ending. So you guys have today is Monday. You have Monday, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday morning, depending on how much time you start with before it goes. So you have about four days and a quarter, give or take. So I recommend you guys go hop on the house rules grind, get it finished up, get your free player. You can choose from Sue, you can choose from Travis Frederick and Denzel Ward. Best option, in my opinion. I don't know. There's two. It's either Ward or Frederick. I personally have both. Let me show you guys real quick. I do have both, and in my opinion, I don't know who's better. This Frederick is a monster over there, and so is his Ward. I don't really know. Powered up, they're both beasts. Frederick, though. Monster card. I don't really know. They're both awesome. Um, if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with Travis Frederick because he's a lineman. I can just have him for a while. Nat, perfect. Doesn't bother me. But Ward, on the other hand, there's a lot of cornerbacks, but he is awesome. But I think I'd have to take Frederick over him. But up to you guys there now next with what to be doing the madden guys the new series is coming out soon which means increased pack odds redux are coming back into pack so i gotta I'm gonna go over all that in my series 3 video that'll probably be dropping in later today or tomorrow but overall what you guys need to know about that save your coin stack get your coin stack up because there's gonna be a lot of cards that you couldn't quite afford this uh, time around that you will be able to afford next series so just make sure you get your coin stack up what's a recommended coin stack i'd recommend going to series 3 with and the Thanksgiving promo because quite honestly that's what the next month is. A good coin stack for me in my opinion. Start getting, I think it's time we start getting to that million range, boys. Start selling some cards, start saving up. Like I always say, don't go into a new promo stocked up with old promo cards. Like Frederick and Ward, fine, I'll keep them. Peyton Manning, I'm going to sell them obviously when the, the trading converts. Also, don't forget that these cards will be converting to training. So for me, guys like Peyton Manning, which I have sitting here, he will be going for more money most likely than he goes for now. So look, he's 330k, right? When he converts to training, a 93 overall does not sell for 330k if it was training, right? It just, it just doesn't. The 92 overall legends go for 330k, so that means that at minimum, Peyton Manning should be going for about 400k to be worth the training value. So that is why I think he's going to go up, personally. I think a lot of these cards should be going up. So if you guys have any most feared cards, I mean, at this point, if they're cheap, don't, don't even sell them. Just hold on to them. Hold on to them for the time being. Wait till you can get their training value. And they should come up in time. Another guy that would be a good example. Let's see these 81 overalls. These 81 overalls go for about 8K. These should be going for about closer to 10, 11K when they get their training values back. So a lot of them should come up in value. At least enough to validate holding on to them. So I'd recommend you hold on to quite a few of these guys. There's just no rush to sell them, right? That's pretty much what the base I'm getting to here. There's no rush to sell any of these cards. Just hold them for as long as you can. Because... You're essentially losing coins if you sell these guys. This happened in the Christmas promo last year. I always tell you guys, cards are going for 350k once the promo ended and they converted to training. They skyrocketed back up to 500k, which is where they should have been with the training value. So I recommend you hold on to that. Now, as far as what should you leave most feared with, I think Ray, if, like these are the cards that I would leave most feared with. Nothing else. Ray Lewis. Remember, this doesn't apply to every team. Like budgety, budgety teams, I understand, but like if you're a top tier team, Ray Lewis is a card you want to take away from this promo. Denzel Ward. Travis Frederick, maybe Lockett. That's it. Those are the only cards I'm really sticking with in this promo. Nothing else is really worthwhile keeping. I mean, maybe the Tariq Cohen is a backup if you guys got them for free. Maybe the Michael Thomas, the free cards, whatever. But bought cards, I recommend you sell everything else. I mean, there's really nothing else that I recommend keeping. Obviously, as you guys see, like I buy most of the best cards I can afford on my team. And I went with Frederick, Lewis, and Ward. Those are the only three I'm keeping. Lockett only because I didn't finish house rules, so I didn't get a chance to get him. But other than that, that pretty much wraps up what I would take for most feared. Now, in preparation for the Thanksgiving promo, I'll be making a separate video on that. Obviously, guys, I'll obviously always make separate videos for that. And really quickly, before the series ends, you guys got to, you want to be wrapping up series progression. I'm currently at 154 wins. I have 60, that's bad math. I have 46 uh, games left before I finish it. I mean, do I really need those 120 extra trophies considering I'm going to lose half of them and get 60 back? Probably not. 50 games for an extra 120 isn't really worth it. Although I'm not too far away, I don't think I'll probably hit it because uh, by the time the next weekend league starts, it'll be essentially over. So that pretty much wraps everything up, guys. Quick little checklist. What to take away with most feared? I already gave what you guys those players. Coin stack, get that up for Thanksgiving and Series 3. Pack odds will be increasing soon. Be on the lookout for Redux players, which I'll go over all that in my Series 3 videos. So stay on the lookout for that. Uh, most feared cards will go up, so I'd hold them. And the general consensus is with the trophies and bats is that I think you're probably better off using your bats Unless you have a ton right like you're probably better off using your bats if you have a ton of bats because you're gonna lose quite a bit For me, maybe I'll just take the 3k training. I could care less But for other people who maybe have like 100k bats, you really want 33,000 training back in exchange for 100k bats 
I don't know. It's up to you guys to see. I mean, 100,000 bats is a lot, but some people do have stuff like that. So that's up to you guys. And that pretty much wraps it up. Use your Series 2 trophies accordingly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell, boys. Come join the family. Let's hit 11K by the end of the day. If you guys have been going crazy with the support, make sure to comment down below what you guys are currently doing, what's your bat recommendations, Series 2 trophy recommendations, and card recommendations. And if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. All the OG loyal supporters, you guys already know, the best way to show support in the channel is hitting that like button. Show some love. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.